Welcome. My name is Adolfo Montero. And uh, I'm opening a new channel. The, the purpose is to, to share my experiences. Nothing specific, just in general. And hopefully you can learn of my mistakes. Uh, I, I will try to keep all these all these videos uh, between five and ten minutes, nothing nothing too long. And uh, so, last year in 2020, my two of my kids, I got four kids, two of them were looking for a job, and it was a uh, a bit tough to to find a job for them. So I told them, why don't you just open a, a channel, you know, and and start sharing your experiences? And one of them, my oldest, a high tech guy. He said, no, I don't have all the equipment necessary. You need special cameras and lighting and all these things. And my other one said, no, you need you need a following. A following, you need people that follow you for, for, for this to work. And I was like, well, you know, I'm sure most people start with a, with a simple cell phone filming themselves. And, and I'm sure not everybody had a following. So I am following my own advice and in opening a channel to to share what i have i'm using my simple cell phone and right, a tripod i have a tripod that my son uh got it from a review and uh here we are so what i what i started lately is a a dumpster rental and junk removal okay so why why did i start that simple very very low tech uh not much investment necessary it, it, it all depends how much you want to spend you can start with a simple pickup truck nothing fancy uh, i happen to have some guy some somebody i live in san antonio so somebody north of austin was selling a trailer and five and seven dumpsters so one trailer and seven dumpsters and i bought them I figure let's jump in and see what happens so after I bought a trailer and the dumpsters I, I didn't have a truck so I started looking for a pickup truck and I like Chevy so Chevy's were a bit hard to find because of the pandemic and because of the of the truck that they had so but anyway eventually I found one so I figure People may say, why would you buy all this equipment without really having a plan or having customers? So, yeah, you're right. You know, I am a dummy. So, I, that's the way I did it. So, here we are. My name, the name of the company is called AM Dumpster Rentals and Junk Removal. My wife came up with a logo. A friend made it. I bought a couple of shirts from Sam's. Shares were like, you know, $8 a piece. I bought like eight. And so I got some uniforms. My son opened, uh, built a, a website for me. Uh, I He charged me 400 bucks. I thought that was expensive, but anyway. And then I, I got a couple of logos printed for the trailers. And let me show you what I, what I did, okay? <clears throat> so for the truck, I have, I bought a Chevy 3500 diesel, long bed, 4x4, and this is one of the trailers that, that I bought. So it is a trailer with seven of these dumpsters. Uh, the trailer is 14 feet long, and the dumpsters are 14 and 16 feet long. That's what he had. And, uh, and that's what we're doing now. So, I'm not spending too much money on, on rental space. I have, I have a couple of acres here, so I park everything in the back. Uh, I bought the dumpsters cash. I am financing the pickup truck and uh, I don't have customers for now. Here and there, 
you know, once, twice a, a week, uh, if if that. But I am I'm I'm starting, so I I know it takes a while. It's not easy, but uh, eventually it'll 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 pick up. Now, if it doesn't pick up the pace, um, now I recommend you don't quit your job. Okay, keep your job and and start this on the side. Uh, for me, I am retired Air Force. I did 21 years in the Air Force, so so I have that cushion, you know, that that retirement that uh, that's there no matter what. Thank God, and uh, and and that's how that's how things are. So. As we continue, we'll we'll keep you updated of, of what's what's going on. As far as our marketing, uh, I I did open the Google the Google Maps uh, thing, and I opened the Google Ads also. Uh, I don't think that's working so far. I also opened a Yelp account. Uh, they gave me a three hundred dollar credit for Yelp. So far, about. $260 have been used and uh, several bytes as far as customers but nothing has translated into an actual job okay uh, I, did, I, I made some business cards with, with the logo and uh, here they are okay a friend of mine the, the same girl that designed this uh, that Printed this on the shirts. She made the cart, and then on, on the second batch, my wife uh, basically did this this cart. So one of the jobs that I got, I was riding around the neighborhood, and I noticed that this guy had a bunch of uh, extra bags and, and like some furniture next to the next to the the, the, the dumpsters. And and I was uh I happened to be around at the time that the 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 trash company was picking those up, so so I was wondering if if those guys were gonna pick those that, that extra stuff right. Of course they didn't. So I left a card at this guy's uh, door, and I wrote a note saying, "Hey, uh, this is Adolfo. Just in case uh, you need some help in the future, here's my card. I noticed you have a you have some some debris outside. If they don't pick it up, you know, let me know." So he called me the next day, and I went and picked those up. Uh, we we went back and forth, and I figure around two fifty, and he said, "No, that was too much money." And I was like, "Well, you know, what what, what do you think is fair for you?" And he said, "You know, about two hundred bucks, one eighty to two hundred." And then I asked him, "Are you gonna help me load it?" Uh, he said, "Yeah, well, let's do it, two hundred bucks." And then so we loaded the we loaded the the dumpster. And uh, and that was it. So, and then another another guy saw me on, on my wife put a little ad on, on next door in the neighborhood. And this guy called. He had a mattress, a king size mattress. It was a big, heavy and thick king size mattress. And he had a washer. And I told him, you know, how, how about one fifty? He said, yeah, that's fine. So I picked those I picked those up uh, with my wife. And uh, and she, he gave me he gave me 160 actually. So I said, look, I don't have I don't have the change. So I was giving him 20 bucks back. Uh, so I was just gonna charge you know 140. And he said, no, 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 don't worry, keep, keep the whole thing. I said, are you sure? And he so I basically gave me some tip. So that was that was pretty nice. <laughs> so and then another job that I got. Uh, I was uh, I went to Home Depot to use the restroom real quick, and and, and on the way out I saw I saw a trailer, a, a, just a, a truck with a trailer and, and some guys you know like had a, they had a full of full of junk and debris from a, like a fence, they were building a fence, so the the old fence was on the truck and you know a couch and a, a love seat and a bunch of bunch of trash, so. I was like, oh, these guys must be doing some, you know, junk, junk removal too. So I walked up to them, and I said, hey, what's going on, guys? And 
And, uh, and I say, what, what are you guys doing? I said, oh, we do renovations and, you know, junk removal, whatever, whatever is available. So I said, oh, man, that's cool. So that, that's what I'm doing, too. And I've never done it before. And uh, I haven't even been to the to the landfill yet. So I gave him my card. And I said, well, you, if you guys need anything, let me know. So I got their info. I brought it on my, on my, on my cell phone. His name is Ray. So I shout out to Ray and his crew. And then... Uh, since I had some debris already in my dumpster, I figured, you know, I don't have too much stuff, so let me go to the landfill. I had opened an account already at two landfills, so I was like, I was like, you know, let's let's go make it and, uh, and and see how it is. You know, let's let's get some experience. You know, using the trailer, you know, dumping it, and uh, and and that was it. So, but back then I had the 16 feet long dumpster on the 14 foot long trailer so i learned my lesson okay if you have a 14 foot long have a 14 foot long dumpster don't mix them because the trailer the 14 foot trailer is like this right 14 if you put it 16 it's gonna have an overhang and when you tilt it to dump stuff the dumpster is gonna touch the ground before the trailer so it won't tilt enough okay so you needed to tilt a lot more to dump stuff, but I, I wasn't able to because I had a, a too long of a box. So I learned my lesson that way. So I had a hard time dumping it. I had to back it up, you know, break hard for it to kind of like the momentum, you know, kind of like dump it. And then at the, at the landfill, I met these guys again. <laughs> I met Ray and his crew again. They were downloading all that stuff. And, uh, so, of course, it took longer because they have a, a normal flat trailer and they had to do it by hand. So, that was my first experience at the landfill. And uh, and, and that smell was uh, pretty <laughs> interesting. <laughs> okay. So, but anyway, I was like, man, what have I gotten myself into? But, uh, but hey, that's, that's life, you know. I have, I've had all type of jobs while in the military and out of, outside of the military and no, no biggie. You get used to it. So, but it was nice to see them again. Uh, and uh, so, a couple of days later, Ray calls me and says, Hey, Adolfo, I got, I'm doing a, a deck and I need to, I need to trim some dirt off a little of the yard. So, can you take that dirt? And I had, from watching YouTube, I had, had seen that you don't want to mess with dirt. Okay, and in particular, first it had been raining all week here and there, here in San Antonio, and, and then on top of that, I had the 16 foot long dumpster on the 14 chassis. So anyway, I said, "Yeah, sure, man, I'll do it." Uh, and it, it was cool to be there for for to see these guys and talk for talk with them a little bit and see what they do. Okay, they were. They were they had taken off a deck, you know, a wooden deck, and they were gonna fill it with cement. So that was one of the one of the jobs that I did. So I, I took the dirt away. It was super super heavy. It's like way heavier than I that I could have guessed. I don't know how much, but two of my tires were all, almost flat. So I was like, man. So anyway, when I left, I I got in the in the dumpster and, and started shoveling kind of like spread the dirt a little bit from the from the from one side of the of the dumpster to the other side and to the back and that helped a little bit but not much so I was like man where where should I dump this dirt I don't want this I don't want to go to the landfill because it's charged by the by the ton and uh, and I probably had maybe by then I probably had maybe four or five tons about 10,000 pounds or more so so I came home and and I was I was gonna I, I was trying to to see how how that thing worked with the dirt, so I let, I tilted it all the way, and and nothing man nothing with uh, only like a couple of, like couple of pounds of dirt everything else was basically stuck on the trailer, so I was like man this is tough so eventually I called I called these guys that they process concrete and dirt and and you know rocks so I said do you guys take dirt they said yeah they, we take dirt. 
So I took it there and yeah, still it wouldn't come down. So I spent about two hours shoveling dirt off the off the dumpster. Uh, it was a it was a good workout. My neck hurt, my my arms hurt, my side hurt, uh, everything hurt. But I was I was very very happy. Okay, I was very happy that I, that I actually did something. You know, uh, that took my boredom away. So I was like, oh, yeah, this is cool. You know, I was super sweaty. And then came back home, you know, rinsed the, the, the leftover. And uh, so back to square one. Uh, then, this is this getting longer than I thought. Another job that I did, it was also Ray. He called me and said, hey, man, I got some sheet rock. And that was cool. It was on a Sunday. I said, yeah, I'll be there. We agreed on the price. Uh, he didn't use much. He said... Uh, he, he pretty much paid me 280 for about uh so I, I dropped the trailer I, so I, I switched I switched the cans I went from the from the 16 to the 14 that way I can tilt it all the way and that's what I that's what I have now only the only the 14s on the trailer I still have the other ones in the in the back in the yard but uh I only use the 14 so I went it was Sunday I, I got there by two o'clock, two in the afternoon. I, I dropped it, and at three o'clock I had a I had a lunch with uh with a friend, some friends of ours. So my wife was already there, or she she was on the way there. So I got there first. So basically I I dropped I dropped the dumpster at this business, went to eat with my friends, had a good time, you know, had a, a cookout, and about three four hours later. Uh, Ray says, "Hey, you know the dumpster is ready." So I was like, "Cool, I'll go. I'll go get it because it's in, it's on a on a business parking lot. So you don't want to leave it there because I figure people are gonna see that nobody's there and they're gonna start dumping stuff, you know, couches and love seats or or junk or whatever or tires, and and that's gonna make the 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 fees more expensive. So I went picked it up. I had a I was having a hard time with the. So the trailer has two batteries, okay? One that operates the the, the tilting, you know, the, the ram, and one that operates the winch that lowers the, the dumpster on, on the ground because I have roll-off dumpsters. So the, the battery for the winch, all of a sudden, it was very weak and then stopped. So I said, oh my goodness, what's what to do? And then, I I saw a, a jump some jumper cables that were on in the box that when I bought the trailer. And I was like, hmm, I wonder if uh, if I connect both batteries, if that'll do the, the trick. And, and yeah, so I connected both batteries and it worked. Pulled it pulled the dumpster all the way, and it was done. So I still have that debris in the back, and uh, and, and that's how things are. So that's. Those are my my couple of uh, of side jobs that I have gotten so far, and we'll see how 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 it goes in the future. I am not going to keep this channel specifics to to dumpster rental. I'm just gonna share you know different things that I that I've done in life. Uh, I am from from Ecuador, and we'll we'll continue we'll continue that uh, that sharing. Okay, so thank you very much for for click on this uh, i hope to bring more uh, useful material in the future and in the meantime i hope you like it uh, subscribe and share okay take care bye bye